And one more time for the live from here, radio players. So, Alex, I understand you want to contact your mother on the other side. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I've always been a little skeptical of all this seance stuff. <laughs> Are you ready to listen to the dead? Not really. I stopped listening to them after Jerry died. <laughs> What's that? Uh, nothing. Oh. And why do you want to speak to her? Uh, well, when she passed, I just always felt like there was unfinished business and she had things that she wanted to say to me, you know? Oh, yes, I can feel that. Now, I am just going to light this candle and close your eyes. No, don't go through my wallet or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, please. Okay. Yes, yes, your mother is here, spirit! Allow me to speak the words that your son must hear. Alex? This is your mother. Oh my God, you sound exactly like her. It is her. I am just the vessel that she is speaking through. Oh, um, okay. Uh, hi, Mom. Um, I'm contacting you because I felt like you needed to tell me something really important. Are you still dating Miranda? No. Oh, good. She wasn't good enough for you. What? She was getting her PhD in physics. Well, she got an F minus in etiquette. You know, she never thanked me for the thank you cards I sent her. Oh, well, okay. Well, she's not around anymore, Mom, so... Probably because you don't have a job. I'm an entrepreneur. That's code for unemployed. Uh, Mom, I didn't contact you to get feedback on how I'm living my life. You're just always so controlling. Uh, Mom? She's sulking. <laughs> She wants you to know that you can just do whatever you want. After all, she gave you life, but no matter, she will just die alone. Well, she's already dead, so... You know, maybe I'll come back and die again to teach you a lesson in how to appreciate your mother. Mom, I do appreciate you. I miss you. I, I just thought you'd have something more to say. Well, I do have one important thing to tell you. Oh, oh, great. You remember when your father went on that long business trip to Turkey when you were like nine and your uncle Danny came to stay for a while? Yeah. Well, um, and I'm not proud of it, but your uncle Danny and I had a unilateral, non-disclosed, temporary revocation of mutual exclusivity. Um, what? We had an affair. Oh, whoa, oh, oh man, wow, did you ever tell Dad? Oh yeah, he knew about it. It had happened one other time nine years before, so. Wait, wait, are you saying Uncle Danny's my father? No, we don't think so. <laughs> I'm just saying that after I had a baby, I had to see what else was out there before I settled down for good. Oh, okay, I, I get it. Mom, is that it? Have you thought about grad school? Jeez, no, I, I, that's, I think that's enough. I'll talk to you later. She says she has to go anyway. Your Uncle Danny's coming over! Oh. <laughs> Serena Brooke, Greg Hess, Holly Lorenz.